So you want to check out Linux and maybe you're not sure exactly where to start. Or perhaps you checked out a video or walkthrough of some sort and it mentioned that you need to create bootable media, but how exactly do you do that? Well, in this video, what I'm going to do is show off the process of using USB Imager to create bootable media. So that way, if you want to install Linux, then you'll have a Linux installer ready to go. But before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that You'll want to back up any files that you might have on your flash drive before we get started. This process will erase everything on the flash drive. So what you'll need is a flash drive that you could dedicate to this project before you continue. And speaking of projects, if you're looking for a very fun project, it doesn't get any more fun than learning Linux. And a great way to learn Linux is to check out one of my two brand new courses over on Udemy. First, if you're in the process of learning Linux for the very first time, you should definitely check out my Linux Essentials course. Not only will this course teach you everything you need to know to get started and learn the basics of Linux, it's also going to help you get certified and earn your Linux Essentials credential through LPI. And the Linux Professional Institute is the world's largest Linux and open source focused vendor neutral certification body. So by earning certifications through LPI, your credentials will be recognized around the world. But even if you don't have any interest in getting certified, this course is still a great fit for those of you that are getting started with Linux because it'll teach you all the basics. Also, I recently released an Ansible course as well, which will teach you everything you need to know to get up and running with Ansible. Ansible is one of, if not the most popular configuration and automation platforms in the Linux ecosystem, so it's definitely something that you need to learn. Ansible is a powerful and easy to learn platform that'll enable you to automate even the most complicated Linux administration tasks. And just like with my Linux course, each lesson will break down even the most complicated components and concepts into easy to understand lessons and by the end of the course, you'll learn everything that you need to know to use Ansible as part of your daily tool set. And thank you so much for checking out my courses and supporting Learn Linux TV. I really appreciate it. Now it's time to create bootable media, so let's get started. Here I am on the download page for USB Imager. You can find a link to this page in the description down below, also on the screen right now. Once you get to this page, what you'll do is download USB Imager for your current operating system. As you can see, we have versions for Windows, Mac OS, Ubuntu, and so on. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the different versions that they have available. What I'm going to do is download the version for Ubuntu. So I'll just click on this right here. And it's a small download, so what I'll do is open up the Downloads folder. Now in the case of Linux, what we'll do is install this dev file here. So what I'll do is open up a terminal. And here it is. So what we'll do is go into the downloads folder and then we'll type sudo and then apt install dot forward slash USB. We could press tab to autocomplete and then we'll press enter. So it looks like it was installed. So we can exit from this terminal right here and also this, and then go to our applications. And we should see USB Imager on the list. And we do. So what I'll do is click on it. And here it is. Here's the application. Now, of course, this might look a little bit different depending on the operating system that you're using on your end. Minor differences, of course, but what we want to do is find an ISO file. We'll click right here and inside downloads. In my case, I have an ISO file for Alma Linux. So what you'll do is download the ISO file for the distribution of Linux that you plan on using. Could be Debian, Ubuntu, doesn't matter. And the process should be the same on each operating system. Anyway, we'll click open. And then next, we're going to make sure that the proper disk is chosen. Again, the disk will be wiped out, so we want to make sure that we're choosing the right one. And this one right here is correct in my case, so I'll click on that. Make sure that verify is checked. I'll click right. I'll type my super secret password. Here we go. And in a few minutes, it should be done. 
And check it out. It looks like the process is complete. Now the only thing you have to do is insert your flash drive into the computer that you want to install Linux on. Make sure you access your computer's boot menu. Choose the flash drive as your boot device, and you should be good to go. All right, you now have your very own bootable media for your desired Linux distribution, so good job. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click that like button. I would really appreciate it. Anyway, thanks again for checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next video.